we go south to the land of the Lazarene, the landmen will kill us and take your dragons. If we go west to the Dothraki Sea, the first Kalisar we meet will kill us and take your dragons. No one will take my dragons. The end of the last series was so dramatic with her and the birth of the dragons. Blood of my blood. But it's nice, the beginning of this series, we suddenly see them in a very, very contrasting place. Her situation is pretty desperate. Much to people's surprise would imagine you'd think the dragons would fix everything. Does it ever end? This is further east than I've ever been. But yes, Khaleesi, everything ends, even the red waste. So Koi Koi, her child died, Drogo, her beloved is dead, her brother is dead. The only relationship she can have is with her people. They are her everything. Daenerys has given Doria a life that she didn't think that she would be able to have. The Dothraki are now her, her people and her Kalasar. You must be their strength. And she feels a strong responsibility to, to look after them. Those that follow her have great faith in her and great belief in her. It's Sir Jorah, her Kalasar, but mainly her dragons. In her eyes, they really are her children. They're her most powerful weapon. They characterize her and they will grow to be incredibly fierce creatures. They're my babies and I think I know and I know that Danny knows that this is it. This is the only family that she has. There's been a huge mental shift for her. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me and destroy those who have wronged me. She's altogether a stronger woman. It's not a kind of surfacy, I'm going to take the throne because I want it. This is her destiny and she can't fight it. The only person that she can truly trust is herself. It's a pretty lonely path that she's going down.